Oh, I fell. I fell. Oops. I was I was wondering if I could see anything over there, but I fell. And it brings where did where did it bring us? Where on earth did it bring it? What is over here? Oh, it's the heart. Oh, we could have just taken this route to get to the uh, to the heart pillar. Okay. Well, that's good to know if we ever have to come back here. Huh? Weird thing in the sky? Wasn't there yesterday. Did a cloud blow up? Heh, <laughs> what am I talking about? If a cloud blew up, it'd, we'd be wet, well, alright? <laughs> Definitely. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Super Paper Mario. When we last left off, Princess Peach was kidnapped, not by Bowser, but by Black. Black. And Bowser was also sent into a dimensional void, along with Luigi and all of Bowser's cronies. So, the entirety of the Mushroom Kingdom and all the worlds are, uh... In jeopardy. Also, I just realized how much this sounds like the second episode intro of Earthbound because there's a universal, universal cosmic destroyer out to destroy the universe, and we are the chosen one. I guess that's really kind of a uh, a trope. Is that the word? A trope in gaming. So we're the chosen one, and we'll defeat the universal cosmic destroyer. Insert name here by going through this door. And hopefully this will be the last of the, the game holds our hands and does uh, cutscenes, except it won't. Blah, black. The void has been ripped in the dimensional fabric. Yes, Count Black is pleased. All is gone as foretold in the dark prognosticus. Now it's just a matter of time until all worlds meet their demise, Black. Wow, that's just super, Count. Yeah, first you'll erase all these naughty worlds. And then you're gonna rebuild a perfect world without war and that other icky stuff. <laughs> yes, yes. No one likes the icky stuff. Yes. A perfect world. Sounds magical. <laughs> I can hardly stand the wait. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. What in blazing bog rats? How'd I eat meet myself here? Or how'd I beat myself here? What's going on? Me, 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 me. Oh, Bo Chunks, you big silly. Did you oversleep or something? I guess it's kind of hard to be on time, though, when you've got muscles instead of brains. Hey, You can't fool me with that chip shaped and hooliganery. It's me, me, innit? Animate. Show a little respect for the count. You, you can't go a bar in his face, lass. <laughs> How delightful, Mimi. Almost as dapper as Count Black. Oh, golly, thanks, Count. With you around, it's nothing but big smiles all the time. Hanging out with the Count. That's my idea of a perfect world. And here I thought Mimi's ideal world was a gem-filled pool with hunky lifeguards. Hey, Dementio, have you been reading my diary? I mean, um, never, never mind. Blah! Well, different strokes for different minions. After these rotten worlds are ended, Count Black will make all your dreams come true. But for that to happen, we must follow the instructions of the Dark Prognosticus. Yeah, uh, about that? Just an FYI, I got an urgent memo from your inbox. Apparently, there's some sort of unapproved interdimensional activity lately. Yeah, I'm thinking it's the Hero of Prophecy. We're gonna need an action plan for this guy. And a dimensional interloper. And possibly the hero? You are sure of it, Nastasia. Interesting, mused Count Black. We must put an end to this nuisance. Count Black! Let me get this right in me brain. The arrows Nastasia's going on about here, enemy. Then you gotta cut me loose on him. You gotta. I cannot do a Scottish voice. I'll give him a taste of O'Chunks, so it's probably just gonna become like Australian and English. Very well, O'Chunks. I'll leave the hero chunking to you. Do not fail, Count Black. You can count on me, Count. I'll rain down like a fat thunderstorm. <laughs> and now he's southern. I swear it. Mimi, Dementio, you should tag along. You could, you could witness a proper chunkin. Hmm, I do enjoy a good chunking. Oh well then, 
I believe I'll head out as well. <laughs> Blah! So, hero, you would defy Count Black? Then hurry, for your world's end draws near. Blah, Black! I will have to admit, those characters are so good. <clears throat> Mario was called upon once again to save the world. No small task. Could he prevent Count Black from pulling off his sinister plot? Would Mario reunite with Princess Peach? A truly interdimensional adventure was about to begin. Once again, copying from Chuck Conrad, Chapter 1-1! One, one. The adventure unfolds! Man. The art style of this game is, is really good. Everything's being drawn. That's so cool! Oh my goodness! That is... That was neat. Although, also, did you see... Oh wait, never mind. TP's gonna say something. I feel the pure heart, but it's still far from here. Merlin told us to find his friend, Bestovius, to learn that interdimensional technique. We'd better off go find him. Oh yeah! One more thing. If you want to learn about anything, just use my power. I know about many things. So we can press A here, and then point at the screen, and learn about things. So we press A. I said we press A. There we go. And we can scan anything, but the only thing that we can scan is Mario. Point at yourself, and I will give you advice on what you need to do next. Right, the first thing we need to do is find Bestovius and learn how to flip people off, I guess. But that was actually kind of interesting, because as, uh, as the world was being drawn in there, you could see that it was in a, uh, a 4x3 format, and that's because this game was originally for the GameCube. Also, this is our first enemy, and jumping on him will kill him. And, yeah, there is no battle format where it kind of, you know, goes into the uh, RPG-style thing. Uh, it it just kind of, uh, you just jump on him like a, like a normal Mario game. This is a mushroom. Grab these to recover HP. So we got one of those. And uh, also, when we jump on enemies, we have a window that we can shake the Wiimote and get points. And those multipliers, I believe, give us more experience. And I think there are a couple other things that they do. Okay, let's kill that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Actually, no, no, no. I could have styled off him, but instead... No, can I press A here? A. No, TP. It's kind of... Feels kind of clunky. There, there we go. Wait, 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 wait. No. TP. There we go. What is that? This is a squiglet. It's a small little creature that scurries around on its many legs. Max HP is 2 and attack is 1. There isn't much else to say about squiglets. When it spots an enemy, it gets excited and hops up and down. So, we hit it once, so that's unfortunate. I didn't style there. So I could have actually styled twice and gotten multipliers, but you know what? It's my first enemy, so I don't really expect much. Okay, let's go inside this door. And the room is empty, okay. This is not an empty house. There's something in this room. I can feel it. I can help you find hidden things. Why don't you use my power to look around? Okay, um... Okay, I don't need to press A. I just have to point the Wiimote at the screen. I thought, for some re for some reason, I thought I had to press A. That's what I get for skipping past text. Point at yourself and... Oh, that's not what I want. I see a door. Give me the door. Door. There you go. There's a hidden door here. Let me make it visible for you. And there it is. It's a door. Let's go inside. No, duh, it's a door. Or should I say, no door? Uh. Hmm? What is this meager mustache that stands before me? And how does it have the audacity to address my multicolored glory? How did these flimsy whiskers detect my secret door? Wait right there! R red shirt? Conspicuous white gloves? Jaunty cap? Ah! You are garbed in the rich cloth of the Hero of Prophecy! You must be the great... Hero! Impersonator! Anime fall. <laughs> what a costume! You look like you leapt out of the pages of the Prognosticus. No no. no, no, no. This is Mario. He's dressed like this because he is the hero. Merlin told us to find you. Merlin? Only his full-bodied beard rivals my hairy magnificence. <laughs> if Merlin thinks you are the true hero, you probably are. 
I think. Well then, as the ancient prophecy foretells, I, Bestovius, will bestow- Wow, really? Bestow upon you the ancient secrets of dimensional flipping for a nominal fee of 10,000 coins. I don't have- I have like two coins, bro. But that's preposterous! You can't charge to teach the hero of the prophecy? Why not? Even the great and splendiferous Bestovius has certain expenditures. Why should the hero get the world delivered on get it delivered to him on a well garnished platter? These heroes think they can get away with shaking people down for free skills. A mere ten thousand coins should be nothing for the hero of the universe. What do you say? No, I can't do that. I see. So be it. I will settle for just taking all of the coins in your pocket. Do I have a deal? No, I like these coins. I like my two coins. Still you refuse? So be it. Though it makes me ill, I will waive the nominal fee and teach you for free. As you should have done first. Will you agree to this? Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, w scintillating. Sin s scintil uh, yeah, scintillating. Scintillating. Let us begin. Flimity flamity flume. Diggity daggity doom. Zibbity zabbity zoom. Shaboom. Flip how? We have the powers of flip how. We have flip how powers. I Bestovius have granted you the ability to flip between dimensions. Flip A to s <laughs> this voice is ridiculous. <laughs> to <laughs> slip between the very fabric of space and flip between 2D and 3D. Well, what do you think? Mind blowing, is it not? <laughs> ah, I offer my hand to you. Uh, what is this A I speak of? I assure you that if we are being watched from an, or I assure you that if we are being watched from another dimension, those beings will understand. But you lack the mustache for full comprehension. Just remember that you can use this ability to find hidden pa items and secret paths. But beware! Use your new ability for too long, and you will lose HP. Okay. Uh, let's try here. I press A, right? Yeah, A. Now there's a button for A. Use the flip ability to flip into 3D! Flip between 3D and 2D to get through tricky situations and find secrets! While you're flipping, the flip gauge is stuff! Okay, I'll just explain this. We have a flip gauge in the upper left hand corner, and so we can spend limited time in 3D. There we go. I explained it. That's all we need to do. So we kind of get the format of a, uh, a normal Paper Mario game while in 3D, but otherwise we're playing, I don't know, we're playing, uh, oh cool. We're playing a, uh, whatchamacallit, a normal, uh, like a Super Mario Bros. title. Okay, let's let's run this way, wait for our gauge to refill, and go through this door. So periodically, it it feels natural to me to flip, just to make sure, like, like here, look at, the, look at this. There are no item blocks here, and then there are a bunch here. Oh, oh, cool. These are pills of me! <laughs> Little me's will follow you and damage any enemy they hit. So we now have pals. Oh, cool. So we have pals, although these things, from what I've seen, they're kind of annoying because they can get, they can prevent you from getting the cool styles on enemies. Uh, let's flip here, make sure I'm not missing anything. Uh, there are coins here, which do not refill my gauge. I felt like they would, but they don't. Oh, I, I lost a pill! Man, I don't want to lose my pills. They're my, they're pills. You know what, uh, I'm not gonna go further, I'm just going to go through this door. I thought about backtracking all the way just to see if there's anything secret, but there probably isn't. Defeat enemies to earn points. When you earn enough points, you'll level up and increase your HP, er, yeah, HP and attack power. Press plus to go through the menu and see how many points you need. So, where is it? Uh, till next level, 10,000. Alright, or next level is 10,000. So we're almost quarter there. Okay, let's see if I can style these enemies without getting my, actually, can I kill my pal pills? No, I couldn't. Man, I got a leaf. I don't want no leaf. Oh, I didn't. Man, shaking that to get the style is harder than it looks. There we go. Let's see if I can do it here. I didn't. Man, that is hard. Okay. Uh, that's much harder than it looks like. I'll have to get used to that. Okay, I got a Goomba card. If you collect an enemy's catch card, you'll boost the damage you do to it. The more cards, the better. You can boost your power by double, triple, or more. Okay, uh, let's flip... Ugh! Okay, he's, he's only in 2D, or 3D, so let's... 
flip and get the style. <gasps> card! I got a catch card. It catches an enemy's soul if it works. Okay, so I can use it to catch them like Pokemon. Got it. What is that? No, 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 mushroom. Ah, mushroom, no. You die for your sins. So you can see that before we were doing one damage to Goombas, and now we're dealing two. Man, uh, this. This, this, coins. I got coins. What's in there? Coins. All right, this is what I want to do. I want to jump. Get the style. Fall on him. Yeah, I got both styles, and I got a ton of points for that. So, styles is how you get experience or score, which they're the same thing. And, uh, no, 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 no. Okay, get over here. Jump. And style. Okay, so the longer I shake the remote, the longer I, I uh, hang in the air. So I I could possibly stay in the air for a long time if I need, the, I need to delay it. Or I could just come down quicker. This is a happy flower. For a little while, flowers with coins will rain down. Cool. Okay. Big coins, but they don't give me points. They just give me money. Got it. Coin. Coins. Coins. Get all of them. More coins. Yes. Yes. And coins. I am so rich. I'm suddenly playing a Wario game. Let's see. Uh, I can't go through here, so when in doubt, flip? Yeah. Flipping is the... is like dipping yourself in mushroom. I don't know. I, I, I don't know anymore. Let's flip over here. I'm inside the thing. Let's jump. And carry on. I did that. Yes. Ah, I, I didn't get two style. Ah, I could have gotten three. That'll take a lot of use getting used to. Oh, man. That is... That is weird. Okay, so it'll take me a while to get used to the whole flip mechanic. Until then, I'll probably fail it a lot. Okay. Hello? You? I will jump on. And... Jump on, yes! That's how you do it. And let's go through the door. Awesome. I kind of like how this, this game is formatted by level, because that, that allows me to find good stopping points. Um, there's an enemy there. What are you? What are what are you? I need, I need to get into the habit of scanning enemies as we approach them, as we see new ones. It's a, spo a spring wing. For some reason, this creature lives to hop endlessly. Max HP is 4 and attack is 1. If you hurt it, it will split into many, many springs. I wonder if breaking in, breaking up is hard to do, even for these creatures. But if you can do enough damage in one hit, you can beat them before they split. Okay, so let's jump, get the style. Jump, get the style. Okay, so I really have to shake that thing. There we go. My, my mic almost fall, fell off. <laughs> that That's going to be problematic. Press and hold 2 while you're on a jump platform, jump extra high. I, I have played a video game before. I know how to, I know how to do it. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Do I need to be on top of that? Is there any benefit to being on top of that? I do not know. Uh, you know what? I'm going to pass those up. I really am. I don't really... I don't really feel like the pal pills are a good thing. Ow! Okay, let's get the style on this. Ow. And not take damage. Yes. Uh, oh, man. This will take a lot of getting used to. Especially because the Wiimote <laughs> is like... It's like shaking a bar of soap, if that makes sense. Which it doesn't. It really doesn't. It's just so unwieldy. Uh, can we get up there? How do we get up there? I have no clue how to get up there. Um, Like, I really don't. Are, were we supposed to jump on enemies to get up there? I, I don't know. Uh, let's... Oh, yeah, yeah, I could have gotten up there. Man. All right. Let's flip into 3D here because there are a ton of enemies, and I think I'm going to use one of my items at this point. I have a fire burst. Burl's enemy with searing flames. What does this do? Reduce all damage by half. Let's use this. What do we do? Shake it up and down? Okay. Shaking. Awesome. Cool. This will probably give us a lot of experience. As opposed to jumping, which I would probably kill myself because I'm not used to it. Wow. Wow. That was awesome. And I got a horsetail. A spring reed that restores 7 HP and cures poison. 
Cool. I can get behind that. We haven't encountered poison yet, but I assume that we will soon, since it just gave us one. Yes, yes. I don't see one. Ah, I didn't I didn't see that last spring. Spring on I no 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 no. There we go. Jump on you. And good. And we can't hold on to that, can we? No, we cannot. Oh, oh, spring oing. Springy! Nah, I can't style. Man, the styling is really hard. It really is. It's a lot harder than it looks. Okay, let's just ignore that enemy and move on. Flip into 3D here, make sure that I'm not missing anything. I am not. Let's continue on. The episode's nearing completion, but I feel like I could possibly reach the end of this. And once again, the first couple episodes are going to be weird because I'm trying to get a- Ugh! I'm trying to get a handle on the game because I'm not used to it. I've not practiced for this because I want to keep it as blind as possible. So there's going to be- <gasps> Star! Star! This is a mega star! Use it to grow to mega proportions and trample your enemies. And we got a level up for that. Our max HP went up by five. And we're gigantic. Oh my goodness. And we're 8-bit. Oh my goodness. Are we really that huge? We are. Oh. Oh, it's like... It's like Super... Uh, New Super Mario Bros. DS, which is a fun game. We're huge. And we're destroying everything. Die. Die, little Goombas. Getting so many points. So many points. Wow. And we kind of left a wake of devastation. Just look at that. Everything that we know is gone. Also, I see a secret over there. You do see that secret? Look at that. It's a... You can go behind the wall if I have enough gauge left. <gasps> it's gonna be close. Flip! Nice. And what do we get? We get a Koopa Troopa card. So we deal more damage to Koopa Troopas. Neat, I guess. Let's go back and, and actually finish the level because we are at the end of the level just in time for the end of the episode. Badoom! End of chapter! Do you want to save your progress? Sure, why not? Okay, so that was that was the first level, and it's obvious that I uh, <laughs> I have some getting used to, but I, I think over time I'll get used to these controls. And so Mario came to learn the stupendous ability of flipping between dimensions, but there was no time to celebrate. Mario still had a pure heart to find. The trail ahead was overrun with savage beasts. Follow me, Tippy said as she flew around the uh, th flew bleh, 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 I can't talk. Flew toward the mountain that loomed ahead. The pure heart was hidden somewhere on the far side. And we will be finding out where it is hidden next time in a foot in the foothills. See you guys then.